TV tonight to see if the Royals can win against Oakland. Royals need to win one more to wrap it up. This last playoff spot at home in the third, Kansas City has a rally going, but Lonnie Smith strikes out, and Jim Sundberg is caught right there trying to steal third. Don't know what he's trying to do that for. The A score in the fourth inning, a single here, scores Dave Kingman, and that was the score, one nothing until the sixth. It was 4-2 Oakland in the sixth, and now in the eighth inning, the ball game here is tied up. How much more excitement can you have for one more game left in the season? Four all tie in that one. Well, the Blue Jays thought they had the AL wrapped up last night, but they got another chance this afternoon. Ernie Witt, one of three original Blue Jays going back nine years. His homer gives Toronto the early lead in this one. In the third, Willie Upshaw hits a solo shot, and the Blue Jays are on their way. Toronto, one of the most beautiful cities anywhere, and if the Blue Jays can get to the World Series, they can showcase that town. Well, St. Louis will play Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium beginning Wednesday. Today, the Cardinals wrapped up the East thanks to Cesar Cedeno. Sacrifice fly here, breaks a one-all tie in the sixth. It's Tommy Herr who comes in to score here. And in the eighth inning, look at the shot that Cedeno delivers here. St. Louis has no problems with the Cubs. On Wednesday, St. Louis opens with John Tudor on the mound. Fernando Valenzuela starts for the Dodgers as the best of seven series begins. And once again, those series have been moved to seven games instead of best of five because they have to make more money and because the players said it would be a better representation if they played seven games.